temperatures all over the country have been at highs of between 25 and 35 degrees centigrade at any given time for the past three months. Its impact on the street has been people walking about with bottled water, soda or juice, more soldiering on in the sweltering heat, silver stops for most women and handkerchiefs ready to catch that sweat. It's just too hot. Goggles are for the sunshine and the powder. I'm avoiding uh, sweating. And the lip shiner is just to keep my lips wet. The weather people say that this is normal around this time of the year when we're about to enter the rainy season. So we have that. So what you had that last year was a blow, a blow from the desert, the Hamilton blow beside. Every year you've been seeing early morning mist. It looks like it's going to rain, but that's not rain. That is uh, sand which is coming from the, uh, from the desert because there is, no, there is nothing along the way to stop it. This is because the depletion of forests is on the rise. Pressure for land to cultivate. So you'll find that most of the fragile ecosystems, people are going to forest reserves, people are going to even national parks, people are of course moved to wetlands, trying to grow uh, something to survive. A meeting of officials from the National Environment Management Authority, NEMA, and other environmental experts reveals that it is currently difficult for the country to adopt environmentally friendly practices. Resource efficient, that are socially inclusive, and they produce low carbon. But emerging industries, key in driving economic growth, are not keen on this. In Uganda, uh, to process one liter of milk, you need five liters of water. To process one kilogram of paper, you need 150 liters of water. When we are printing at the offices, do we use both sides of the paper? If you are printing a 50-page document, if you use both sides, then you will use 25 sheets. If you use single side, then you need 50. You have two phones, you have a laptop, you have a desktop, you have all those things that you don't really need, but you're still taking, using. That means that when you finish using them, they come back to pollute the environment. Or that wherever you've taken them from, it's a resource from the environment. But what is to be done for resources like water needed for economic growth and service delivery? When you're brushing your teeth, for example, do you use a running tap or you can use a small cup? You have a tap not working at home, it drops water always, always. So if you are aware enough about how to behave sustainably, immediately you, you try to manage it to stop these drops. Because today there is water, there are a lot of drops. But what will happen tomorrow if you allow these drops to continue? You may not find even this drop. Undeniably, going green is a responsibility of individuals and industries as a whole. Florence Saliba, NTV.